as De Maria. He is going to be expected to deliver a lot in terms of supporting the uh, attacking front of Accra Hearts. The two teams have battled already. Yeah, they come out of the uh, dressing room all looking hale and hearty. They came united in their home colors of the lemon green. Accra Hearts of Focus sporting their usual rainbow colors. And uh, this afternoon we're expecting that uh, we will see a lot of uh, fireworks in the game here. And of course uh, the two uh, coaches or the coaches of the two sides, uh, Okansi for Bekim and uh, Samobwedu for Accra Hearts of Oak have all given clear indication but that nothing but three points will suffice today. Well for us of focus Samobwedu back and forth, he's making another change to the starting 11. It's Victor Edu, the leading top scorer, who is in for Benjamin Futu and not Michel Sapon. So changes at the last hour for House of Folk again. And Michel Sapon is on the bench together with Manav Guma. They are all on the bench. But, of course, Victor Edu, the top scorer, is replacing Benjamin Futu and he's going for the kill. It's now a 4-2-2-2. Fatal two, two, two. war captain Akra Hearts of Fulton. Looking at the determination on the faces of uh, both sets of players, especially uh, Kofi Agbesima, who's going to be wearing the captain's uh, arms band for uh, Bechem United today, you can tell that they mean nothing but business. First of all, Bechem United want to avoid that humiliation they suffered at the hands of Accra Hearts of Oka, the Accra Sports Stadium. They would also want to appease their fans who have uh, traveled from far and near to come watch this game. And uh, that uh, we're going to be expecting a mouth-watering encounter here. For Brecum Chelsea, nothing but three points uh, should suffice. They're not lying too good on the uh, league table, and we'll tell you about their performances. But since Kasim uh, Okante came to join the technical bench of uh, Bechem United, it seems, he seems to have stabilized uh, the team, although today they'll be uh, missing Moro who's uh, out of the game because of uh, a red card he received the last time. Uh, for Accra Hearts of Oak, uh, it's good that uh, they have quite a formidable uh, team here today. I haven't seen Nuru Sule uh, in the lineup. I didn't see him in the bus as well, which means that he did not make the trip here today. But that man, Samuel Buedu, believes that the charges he, have, he has brought here today will definitely deliver the heart of Oak. Well, he looks so confident. He is boiling up and he feels he will pick up three points here at an for Suji Abwar Park. For Bechem United, they have been impressive here at home and you know they are among the three teams in the Ghana Premier League who have not lost a single game at home this season. But for them, they will have to make sure that their performance is good. They have raked in 33 goals all season. The West, together with Kim Faisal in the Ghana Premier League. And for us, of course, they have not been good um, Away travelers, especially when Samuel Bodu took over in three matches, they've lost two and drawn one. Woefully inadequate. Woefully inadequate for a team that would want to lay a claim to the Golden Fleece. Talking about the Ghana Premier League title. Toto says they never say die until the bones are rotten, and the fans would cheer after that short prayer set in the. Uh, Center of the field by Bechim United. Accra Hartko will be starting the game today with uh, Richard Atta uh, in goal. He looks sturdy, looks strong. Referee for the occasion, we have uh, Patrick Autry from Takrade. He will be supported by uh, Isaac Asante and Prosper Avinu on lines one and lines two. And Mohamed Mesbao will be our fourth official for the afternoon. And uh, match commissioner for the day is Awudu Jang Ayakubu from Uwa. He is a retired teacher. Can the hunters? Gather around the oak tree and make sure they are called the real hunters to do today, this afternoon, or the oak tree will just manage its way with a never say die attitude. We're just about to have the kickoff, and I can tell you for a fact that the oak tree has got a lot of goodies on it. It is up to the hunters to determine which of the goodies they would want to pluck from the oak tree. So, 90 minutes, and it promises to be fireworks. Sit back and relax if you're on your start times on app. That's good enough because anywhere you find yourself, you can watch the game. If not, just get your start times decoder and go through the needful process. And hey, presto, you are watching the finest of football made in Ghana. Here we go. We're going to kick off here at the Nana Fosu Jiabua Park. And the homesters will be playing from left to right. Replay here. Imara Ano will steal that ball away ahead of Fatau. And you see, it was a clash. Oh. And maybe Hafiz Konkoni came up there. <laughs> they can keep the ball in play. 
Advantage will not come to Accra Hearts Book. Richard Attack. And the team United will be playing 10 against 11 here at this stage, Prince. Momentarily, as uh, Kasim Mingo gets ready to uh, effect the change. Accra Hearts Book on the other side have other ideas. Victor Edu can get to the ball early. I mean, the, the, the the front two of House of Folk have not clicked so well. I mean, between Petro B. Jr. and Victor Edu, they have not been very solid. They, they, they have not been so impressive. And especially with Victor Edu, he has been the top scorer and you want to see more from him. He's very, 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 very absent here. Richard attack to the rescue once again. But it doesn't look good for Hafiz Mojaka. Twisting and turning as he tries to push men forward. Well read by Abdul Manaf. This is good for Accra House of Folk. It's Salifu Ibrahim running down the line. Sends him across with the left shot. Into the net he goes. His unfavorite right foot. And Salifu Ibrahim breaks the deadlock. Well, it's Salifu Ibrahim breaks the deadlock. Well, it's first goal for Accra House of Folk. What a goal. I mean, he has been the brightest spot for House of Folk all afternoon. And I told you, if House of Folk will score, it will have to take a moment of brilliance. An individual brilliance from a player. And this player, Salifu, has been, have been the, the, the most brightest spot for House of Folk this afternoon. What a goal here. We'll see the replay. And the moment he had that ball at his feet, his runs, his confidence was, was sky high. And he took the, the, the champ defenders on away, beating goalkeeper Haruna Aziz Dari. we we'll see the replay again. Look at him with that pace. The first start was excellent, and the final pass, the, fi the final shot at goal. Oh, what a goal! Look at him. Between three defenders, he was able to put the ball beyond Haruna Aziz Dari. We we'll see him again. Look at him in full confidence, and oh, with the right foot. Oh, such placement! Brilliant, brilliant goal from Salifu Ibrahim. He is known as Di Maria. Dumbia, long cross. Still danger mounted. And Richard attack. Missing the ball completely. Finding them from Techiman. 11 wonders. It's a first away win for Samuel Buedu. What a moment for House of Folk here. It has ended. The Chevy Knight at zero. Heart of Oak, one. And as you can see, referee Patrick Autry, together with the two assistant referees here, heavily guarded by the Ghana policemen. And you see the Bechem United players, very dejected. It is the first away victory for Samuel Buedu and his charges here since he took over. The supporters are stunned and shocked here. So from me, Professor Jude Champo, together with Prince Anne and the Prince of Commentary, the game has ended here. It's been Take our chances. And the few judges that came for us to in the reference to, you saw it, you saw what happened on the field. I see. <laughs> so, okay. that's you, nothing we could do. You, you, you lost your top marksman, Hafiz Konkoni, earlier on. Yes. Did that affect Very you much. Think? It affected us very, very, very much. Because he is the arrowhead of the team. He receives the ball and set it for the oncoming attackers. Okay. And when he left, the game plan had to change. Because we don't have a player like... The, the th he start. Yeah. So we have to change our game plan. Okay. Well, it's, it's tough luck for Bechem United. We can only wish you the very best in subsequent matches. But Kasim, thank you very much for talking thank to you, us. Thank you. Okay, let's now have uh, Hearts of Oak uh, head coach, uh, Coach uh, Buedu. Coach, two things. You have broken the invincibility here at uh, Nana Kosujia Boa Park. And you have also collected three points after winning your last match against King Faisal. It looks like the comeback after your loss 
to Dreams FC is on course. What seems to be the change in the team today? Yeah, I say you can see tactically they were more ahead of uh, Bechem United, and uh, I said it earlier that we're gonna break the chains in this town. And fortunately for us, it has come true. Mm, I see. But tactically, it looks like the changes you did also worked for you. What did you visualize, especially when you came back uh, from the dressing room? Yeah, being a coach, you must read the game. Whenever you must read the game, whenever you see where there's a loopholes, we have to bring somebody in to fill that position. And those we, those that we brought them in, yeah. we told them that they shouldn't relax at the back. They should always focus on attacking football. That's helped us to get that one goal. I see. Okay. Congratulations. But moving on, do you still have your eye on the title? Yeah, House of Folk is playing match after match. House of Folk don't have competition with any, any club. We are doing our own thing. But one, one thing that I believe that we want to win every match that we play. Okay. Coach, congratulations and thank, thank you Thank you very to much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. All right, that was uh, Coach uh, Boedu. Let's now have the man who has won six MVPs already. Today is number seven. And I'm proud to say that out of the seven MVPs, I have presented three or four of them. Ibrahim, congratulations. Uh, and then match, no? No, Oh, Eden, because the team has a woman trying to feel you should match that. Yeah. Uh, it's very difficult. But I have a determination to buy. Uh, I see. Okay. Now, as I'm moving, moving, I warm up. I mean, we say coach, no, pass it. No, we didn't come up before. No, no catch it. Uh, because now, as I'm moving, can I say, uh, Omini, my dad, you see, uh, you put a ball on the chair. We are going to be playing. We are going to set the tempo. Uh, to me, you say, no, yeah, I go up. Yeah, many go up. Uh, yeah, yeah, three points. Yeah, they call Accra. I see. Okay. But matches are come with him no a dozen. Let's see. So baby, I'm more than and yet, baby, as I say, has a dozen. I'm a player. So more can. Then I'm why. Then I'm just see. I'm bossy. I'm pressing. I'm the next couple of matches. Uh, ten years. Uh, has to prove any league down. Uh, you press our record. Uh, this year you beat him. Uh, to me, say any boy. You press winning league. Uh, league this year. Move it to me. Uh, I don't know. Move it to my winning league this year. Matches now can now. Three points in the year. Uh, Everybody will be at three points in the year. This is Kofia. I guess I'll be a shark. I don't want to say I did start three points. This is our three points now. We'll pay down here for that face. Okay. Okay, that's it. Congratulations. Uh, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay. So uh, that was uh, the MVP for the uh, match. Talking about... Uh,